Sometimes parents say, I tell my kids what to do, uh, but they aren't changing. And, and uh, we need some more ideas around here. And so I want to talk to you a little bit more about not just the what, but the how. Because many parents end up telling their children to be more tolerant or more patient or more uh, whatever. And they're, what they're doing is they're telling the kids the what. And many times kids need more than that. They need the how. What does it look like in very practical terms? And I find that to be the most significant way to bring about this kind of change in our children. For example, how do you deal with an annoying brother? I worked with one uh, 13-year-old boy who had a nine-year-old brother, and uh, he was mad all the time with his nine-year-old brother and mean to him. And I said to him, why uh, do we have a problem here? He says, my brother's annoying. And uh, I turned to the parents and I said to him, is this boy annoying? And they said, yes, he's annoying, <laughs> nine years old. So we have a certified annoying nine-year-old boy. And uh, so I talked to this uh, young man at 13 years old. And I said, all right, you need to develop a plan for how, how you're going to work with him. I'm going to send you away this week. I want you to work on this. See how you can um, not get angry when he's being annoying. So he went away, came back the next week. I said, well, what happened? He says, well, yeah, I was pretty successful because every time he was annoying, I walked out of the room. I said, okay, great. You developed a how, a plan. But I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stay in the room when your brother is annoying and develop a plan for that. He says, why? <laughs> he says, so that you can learn how to deal with annoying people. And so <laughs> we spent some time together just talking about that. But he then came back the next week and and I said, uh, how'd it go? He says, it went fine. I, I said, well, what did you do? He says, well, whenever he was starting to be annoying, I just said, would you stop it? And he did. And so here's a young man who got in there and got some hows and, and developed those and was able to overcome his challenge. But children need to know, how do I respond when my mom tells me to get off the computer when I don't want to do that? How do I respond when uh, my homework isn't getting turned in? I need to be more organized. It's the how that develops these this plan. So sometimes we even send children away to interview other people with this very specific question. A question like, uh, and we may ask uh, teachers or parents or grandparents or other brothers or sisters or friends, whomever. Here's the question. How do you not explode when you start to get angry? What a great question to ask other people because all kinds of people experience challenges and it's the how to that's going to help break these things down in very specific ways. And we can learn things from other people about what they do and then incorporate them into our own plan. I really like the scriptures because they break things down for us. And in Deuteronomy 6, 1 to 2, it says this, these are the commands, decrees and laws. The Lord, your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess, so that you, your children, and their children after them may fear the Lord your God, as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you, and so that you may enjoy long life. Uh, God broke down all of these ideas into smaller pieces so we would know how to live. And I think that idea of he didn't just teach you, he teach you to observe these things. I think that's the practical nature of the work that we do with our children. We're teaching them to observe these things. And I think that that's what Jesus told us at the, when, um, at the Great Commission. He says, teaching them to observe all things, not just teaching them things. It's not just about the what, it's about the how. And if we can grasp this idea of how, and we can just ask that question, then a lot of good things will happen. When you say to a child, be patient, that's great, because we're telling them the why. Or we're telling them the, the what. And I think we can tell them the why. I think that's great too. But it's the how that actually gives them the things that they say to themselves and the things that they do. That's the part that's going to bring the significant change. So think about the how and uh, even ask your child the question. How do you um, deal with this particular challenge when you're tempted to do this? And it's the how that's going to help them to be most successful as they work with their own hearts and try to adjust things.